Hi everyone, I am at the Oros Lanos, which is the um, wine cellar slash hotel slash restaurant that is next door to the Bartfai uh, Udvar has, where I'm staying. <sighs> it's getting cold, you can see my breath. Uh, and um, this is the only restaurant in town, um, the, the inn where I'm staying, they don't have a restaurant, a proper restaurant. So I'm excited to try this restaurant out tonight for dinner. Um, I have a feeling it's going to be good, so I may come back <laughs> um, to try out some more of their food later. But um, I, I was in here earlier today just to kind of peek around, and um, it looks pretty nice. And they've reserved me a table in a private room, so you guys are going to come along and be my guest. So it's time to go eat. <laughs> about to have uh, hushlevesh, which is uh, literally translated into English as meat soup. Anyway, this is basically chicken chicken soup. Um, it's like hen soup. Um, it smells really good, and it looks good. It looks very hazy, very home like homemade food. So let's take a taste. It's got big old carrots in it. This will feel nice on a chilly evening like tonight. It's good. Tastes like vegetable soup with chicken. Mm -hmm. Let's try the broth. I met the chef earlier today and he was very nice. He looked very professional. So. Tastes good. I know you guys love watching me. My entree has just arrived, and it is um, Tario Shertishus, which means it's a, a certain part. I don't know what part of cut of the of the pigs of the pork, and then underneath it, and it I can smell it. I'm not even all that close to it, and I can smell it from up here. Um, is uh, it's potatoes that have been mixed together with onions, so you can really smell the onions now. As what I was told was that the 
pork has been cooked first, probably on pan fried, and then they bake it in the oven. And on the side is a, uh, they call it a brown sauce, uh, barna martash, and it's um, it's a, like a dip, dipping sauce, and it's made from vegetables. Um, I asked them to not put turo in, which is cottage cheese. I really don't like that, um, but apparently that's what makes it more kind of typical and, and authentic. But this is apparently a dish that's only, um, that is actually from this village, which is Tayo. And so it's, uh, it's very quaint and authentic to this, to this village. The first bite I'm going to take is of the pork. Oh wow. Mmm. That's good. Honestly, when I read this on the menu, I really didn't know what to expect. But I was curious enough, especially since this is, you know, um, traditional to this village. So I wanted to try it. And now, let's try the potatoes. Mm-hmm. That's really good. Okay, I'm about to try their sweet wine. It smells very promising. Let's see how it is. Oh, finally. Mmm, that's so good. Yum, 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 yum. Yeah, again. Sorry, Don. Uh huh. When you see her. Hello. <laughs> no. Uh, I'm here with the chef personally. He's come out to explain this dish to me. It looks and smells delicious. So, uh, Esme. Uh, uh, so, it's de es vod disno. Vod disno. Okay, so it's wild boar with vod gombaish, uh -huh. with yeah. wild yeah. mushrooms uh, in a in a sauce. Mm -hmm. uh, is it boar so, uh, no, Okay, so it's a purkut, which I've shown you before. Mm -hmm. It's galushka. A and galushka, which is the, the traditional Hungarian dumplings. Looks and smells amazing. So what do you Any? And not cheap. No, absolutely not cheap. Not spicy. Okay. The galushka is a little bit more The list is a Okay. No, I'm going to Okay. Mmm, not yum finom. Not yum finom. Not yum. It's very, very good. Very good. It's a very different taste. It's like not yum mash izosh. Not yum kulen legash. Very, very unique. Yeah, uh, because of the mushrooms, it's a very unique taste. Um, it's very different. I have been waiting all day for this brownie, so I am super excited to try it. Let's try it together. Looks amazing. Oh. I don't know what's in it, but it just looks... It looks like really different. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. The first entree that I had was amazing. Um, this is my favorite thing. <laughs> it's time for the reitesh, which I had once in Tokai at that um, Tsukrasdo. This is a little different, this, this reitesh. Um, but uh, this is, one of them is alma, which is apple, and the other one is turo, which is turo. <laughs> it's like their, let's say, ricotta or their cottage cheese. It's like a sweet cottage cheese. I'm gonna try the apple first. Oh, it smells good. And it sure looks good. I love Reitesh. It's flaky and... Mm, my God. Mm. Mm. Oh my God, that's so good. That is delicious. It's like a, a cross between apple pie, apple fritter, <laughs> cinnamon bun. It's like... <laughs> It tastes like all of that. So, good afternoon. It is lunchtime here in Tayo, and I am back at the same restaurant where I was for dinner the other night, uh, Oros Lanos, and I am about to have some Marha Guyash, which is um, beef, uh, beef Guyash, Guyash soup. Smells and looks delicious, so 
I am going to take my first bite here. Let's see how it is. Mm. Wow. That is super traditional. It's perfect. It's perfect guillache. Delicious. One of the best I've had in a long time. The meat is very tender, very soft. The vegetables are just right. They're cooked. It's absolutely delicious. My first entree has just arrived and it is duck leg, slowly cooked duck leg with potatoes and I believe there's onion in these potatoes perhaps and then red cabbage on the side. So let's take a bite of the duck to start. Hmm. It has a nice flavor. Um, almost it's got that fall winter feel to it. it has so my uh, second entree has just arrived and it is, it looks like bacon that's a barbecue bacon um, with uh, with croquette, potato croquettes and some salad on the side. So let's try this barbecue bacon. It smells good. Mm. Oh wow. That's super, super good. Really, really light diet food. Um, it's super good. It's just bacon, but super juicy and tender with like a sweet barbecue sauce. I loved my dessert so much. I should say desserts, plural. I loved my desserts so much. The last time I was here, I ordered the exact same stuff again because I just, oh, it was so good. I fell in love with this dessert. It, it's just des delicious. So I am going to, well, first I'm just, oh, that powder sugar just like falls off. You can sit it down, it's fine. Thank you so much. Oh my God, it literally just melted in my mouth with the powdered sugar. And it's so soft and warm, like it just came out of the oven. Oh, it just comes out so, and it's so soft. Let's try the turo. Mm. This is even better than last time. I don't think I've ever had warm reitesh. Oh, it's so good. Oh. Oh my god, so good. Now I am going to sink my teeth into this amazing brownie because I know I've already had it before. Maybe it's even better than last time. Let's try. Mm. Oh my god, fall off the chair, delicious. Put me in a chocolate brownie coma. Oh, it's not brownie, sorry. Yes, it is brownie. Oh God, it's so good. So good. I honestly cannot decide which one I like better, the reitesh or the brownie, because they're both so good. If you come to this restaurant, just skip dinner, skip lunch, just order the dessert. Order every all of the dessert, like six pieces of it, because you won't regret it. This is so amazing. This is some of the best dessert I've ever had in Hungary just amazing. Mwah. So good.